Hello colors, welcome back to Viva Barca. Welcome to another interesting episode where we are going to be discussing on the latest story starting with Pedri Gonzalez who in a recent interview talks about Arrahojo, Frankie de Jong, Ilkay Gundogan, Femin Lopez, Ferran, Mbappe injuries. We are going to be discussing on what Pedri said as we progress. Secondly, talking about Chadi Riyad as the Barca 20-year-old defensive prospect close to joining Real Betis on loan with a purchase option. We are also going to be discussing on that. So guys, as we get right into it in much detail, please do ensure to subscribe if you haven't. Turn on the post bell notification to always stay notified whenever I post a new video. Consider liking the video and please watch right up to the very end. Barcelona midfielder Pedri has vouched to become a better version of himself in the 2023-24 season, saying that he is aware of where exactly he needs to work and where exactly is the improvement needed. Pedri had a bittersweet season last time out as a serious injury forced him out of action for a considerable amount of time. Speaking on a personal level, the young star, while speaking to the media in Los Angeles ahead of the preseason friendly against Juventus, said, I have to improve a lot of things. I think I provided very few assists last year. I have to get to the box more. I have to improve. I didn't fulfill the challenge of scoring 10 goals. I have to be better, he said. I had a holiday to prepare myself physically, which is something I wanted to improve, especially to prevent injuries that have prevented me from playing a couple of times lately. On a collective level, Pedri added, Last season, we had that little thorn. We want to improve and we have a good squad to do something good. Barcelona recently named their four captains for the upcoming season and why the likes of Mark Ander Ter Stegen and Sergio Roberto have been retained for the leadership role, Ronald Araujo and Frankie de Jong have replaced Jody Alba and Sergio Busquets. When asked about his take, the midfielder said, Becoming a Barca captain? I am still young. I am honored that some of my teammates voted for me, but Ronald and Frankie deserve it because they are leaders on and off the pitch. Barcelona have made a marquee signing in Ilkay Gondogan, which has truly strengthened their presence in the midfield. Why talking about the former Manchester City's midfielder's influence, Pedri said, it is great to see how he turns and how he doesn't lose the ball. It's hard to see him lose the ball and he brings so much composure to the pitch. I'm sure we'll have a lot of fun with Gondogan. Meanwhile, Pedri also spoke about Femin Lopez, who happened to be one of the many academy players called up for the pre-season tour. He said, A player I like a lot is Femin Lopez. I've never seen or I've never had the pleasure of playing with him and I see that he has a lot of energy and above all a lot of quality he explained. Lastly, 20 year old Pedri shared his take on the transfer movements so far including that of Ferran Torres's remote exit and Kylian Mbappe's potential move to rivals Real Madrid. About his teammate Ferran he said he is very calm and wants to work and conquer the world he is a player who is going to help us a lot. About Mbappe, he refused to share his thoughts as he said, I'm not the sporting director or president of Real Madrid. We have to concentrate on the tour we are on and let them do what they want to do or they have to do. We are not worried about them at all. Great words there from Pedri, of course, who we are hoping that this upcoming season he will be a more better player than last season. Um, injuries was a big problem for Pedri last season. And the player is really, really disappointed the way his last season was. And he wants to really hit his target this time around. So, of course, Pedri speaking about Barca's transfers. And, of course, some of the players, some of the new signings. And, of course, he speaks with a lot of positive energy. Um, so, we hope that that positive energy will translate into um, more better performances for the player and less injuries. Pedri is a quality player, one of the best players we have without any doubt. 
But last season was not a season. He was not the better we knew. Um, he had very few chances to play because injuries could not let him to. And he's now more optimistic, saying that he wants to make the use of this preseason and also he wants to be staying fit for majority of next season as he really wants to hit his target. Then on to the next story of discussion. Barcelona are expected to send a host of youth players on loan deals elsewhere as part of their plans to help them valuable experience at the highest level of football. Pablo Torre has been loaned to Girona as part of the deal that brought in Oreo Romeo. Meanwhile, Nico Gonzalez is closing in on a move to FC Porto, a bid on a permanent transfer with a buyback clause. And now, it appears Real Betis are closing in on the capture of Charlie Ria. This has been reported by Tony Juan Marti, who claims the Spanish outfit are expected to sign the young defender on a season-long loan deal. Formerly of the Mallorca Youth Academy, Chadi Riyad has enjoyed a rapid rise to prominence over the past 12 months. Standing at 1.87 meters, the young star has impressed onlookers with his strong physique and defensive organization. Riyad was a prominent member of the Barca Athletic Defense last season, featuring in 37 matches in all competition. His performances did not go unnoticed either with coach Xavi Hernandez handing him the first team debut against Osasuna. However, with Barcelona bringing in Inigo Martinez on a free transfer this summer, Charlie Riyad is unlikely to receive too many first team opportunities this coming season. So guys, with that, we have come to an end of this episode. Thanks a lot for watching. Until next time, bye-bye.